Hey, what's good YouTube? My name is Craig and in this video, I'm giving you five reasons for why business coaching certifications are useless and overrated. This video will help you to one, qualify any coach that you meet, two, avoid any scammer or salesperson that's posing as a coach, and then three, help you to select the right coach that can actually help you to meet whatever goals you want to achieve. And by watching this video, you will better understand why coaching certificates do not determine whether your coach will help you to be successful or not. Furthermore, if you want to become the entrepreneur of your life, you can start this process today by subscribing to this channel. Additionally, please be sure to click the notification bell so you can be alerted for whenever new videos are uploaded. Are you ready? The subject of whether or not a coach is certified is a very touchy subject, but it's one that really needs to be addressed because there are major fallacies behind whether or not a coaching certification can really help to add value to whether or not a coach can help you achieve your goals or not. So without further ado, let's just jump into like the first reason why coaching certifications are overrated. Um, number one, uh, coaching certifications never trumped lived experience. For example, as a coach, I specialize in helping entrepreneurs to develop proactive, profitable, and proven business models. This expertise, this experience has been garnered from over 15 years of trial and error living and breathing as an entrepreneur. Now, oftentimes you have people who get into the business coaching or coaching world who have no experience. And so what they think is that they can go and spend a couple hundred hours or a few weeks studying and getting certified to validate themselves that they're gonna help you to achieve your business goals. Well, the person who's been cooking in the kitchen for 15 years has way more experience than the person who's been studying and you know learning these coaching certifications over a course of 15 weeks. So undoubtedly, lived experience is way more valuable than any type of certification. Moving forward to reason number two. The second reason why many coaching certifications are overrated is that there's simply an infinite amount of different types of certifications out there. Like it would blow your mind if I were to show you my email inbox or my LinkedIn messages inbox to show you the amount of different types of organizations who are requesting that I join their group or get certified underneath their certain platform. Every day, some type of organization or some type of person is coming up with their own framework or their own set of processes that have allowed them to become, you know, valuable as a coach in their certain type of way. Well, that method of coaching may have helped them, but it might not, uh, might not be advantageous for me to learn that because like, I have my own way of doing things. And so literally there are thousands and tens of thousands of different types of coaching certifications out there. Because of that, that pretty much shows you that you can help people to achieve their goals based upon whatever way is proven to be successful. There is no one right way to be a coach. And as a matter of fact, the best coaches are the ones who apply their own experience to help other people. So because there's an infinite amount of different types of coaching certifications out there, there's no one certification that is the godlike or universal type of certification that's going to determine whether or not a coach is successful or not. Reason number three why coaching certifications are unnecessary um, pretty much dovetails off the second reason. And the third reason is that nobody watches the Watchmen. So as I preface that there's basically an infinite or a limited amount of different types of coaching certifications out there. 
but there is no governing body that really determines whether or not that specific coaching certification is beneficial and or negative. But one of the real deep dark secrets here is that everybody is going to tell you that their specific methodology or coaching certification is the best. Well, it really doesn't matter what that coaching body or organization says. The real proof in the pudding is whether or not your clients are successful. And all my clients are successful, but that's because what I've done is I've constructed a framework that generates a tangible, measurable outcome. Many of these certifications don't provide that. But like I said, lived experience is the best way to develop your own coaching philosophy. And at the end of the day, no coaching body can tell me whether or not my coaching philosophy is successful or not. That's based upon my own personal outcomes and my clients' outcomes. So remember that nobody watches the watchmen and that there's no one specific governing coaching body that can determine whether or not your coaching philosophy is successful or, or not. It's as simple as that. Reason number four why some coaching certifications are unnecessary and useless uh, this is one of my favorites, but that many of these certified coaches are basically glorified franchisees. That's really what they are. And because many of these people have zero lived experience, they run and, and grab and chase after the most well-known coaching body and pay them thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars to get certified. And now because they have this brand, they think that they can help you, but they actually have no clue what they're doing. Just, just think about this. Like I said, I have over 15 years of lived experience as an entrepreneur. Like I like to kind of allude to this analogy. Like just imagine that I'm a chef and I've been baking pizzas for 15 years. They're organic, all natural, and they're just absolutely fucking delicious. But then just imagine that somebody off the street runs and goes to uh, Little Caesars, which is one of the shittiest pizza franchises out there, goes and pays for a franchise fee to open up their own Little Caesars. And then they come to me and say that, oh, because I've bought this proven business model, my pizza tastes better than yours. Like that's an absolute garbage. Like actually what I'm providing you is of the highest quality. It's organic, it's natural, it's proven. Not only does it taste better, but it actually gives you more nutrition as opposed to somebody who just goes and buys out this pre-canned uh, business model that may or may not actually help you. Like at the end of the day, these people oftentimes, they have no clue what they're doing. They go buy into somebody else's idea and then they repackage that and resell that to you with zero authenticity, zero proof of concept. And oftentimes um, they're clients get you know minimal if any results so look and judge many of the people who develop their own coaching philosophy on a higher pedestal because they've actually taken the time to create this uh philosophy and this business model as opposed to somebody who just goes and buys something that's preordained and premeditated so many of these certified coaches are basically glorified franchisees at best and then the fifth and final reason in this video why many coaching certifications are uh, useless or non-beneficial is that many of these coaches, they do not believe actually in the certification that they've acquired. See, this is major because I actually have a real true to the game coaching philosophy that I not only believe in, but I live every day. My, ph my philosophy is about becoming the entrepreneur of your life. And I've fully embodied everything about that philosophy. Well, when you have somebody who just buys a certification, they're just leveraging that certification to get this supposed credibility within the industry. But nine times out of 10, they don't actually believe in that actual philosophy or certification. They're just doing it because they believe that is gonna help you as a client to view them at a higher level versus someone like me who doesn't have a certification. Well, like I said, authenticity and credibility are really garnered from lived experience. I fully believe in everything that I'm talking about. 
And when I project that to my clients, not only can they see that, but they can feel that. Like I said, many of these coaches, they, they just buy into something. They don't believe it's actually beneficial, but they're just doing it to get a leg up in this perception and marketing world, which is just full of shit, <laughs> just to be candid and transparent. So like I said, people who develop their own coaching philosophy like myself are much better because we truly believe in everything that we're talking about. Whereas some of these coaches who buy into other philosophies or certifications are just doing that because it adds a certain level of perceived credibility, which may or may not actually be true. In sum, coaching certifications are not the end-all, be-all litmus test for if a coach is actually going to help you to achieve your goals or not. Make sure to check your coach's lived experience check their belief systems, check their client's outcomes, and do more diligence on who that person actually is before you decide to work with them. Because a piece of paper or a badge or a certificate may be the thing that actually deceives you into working with the wrong coach. So my question for you today is, how do you determine or judge whether or not a coach is qualified or not? Drop your comments uh, below, and I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Until next time.